So we're gonna show you in this video how to do a carpal tunnel um, injection. Um, I do lots of these in my clinic. I always do them ultrasound guided because obviously we want to avoid the nerve. And also by doing it ultrasound guided, one, it obviously makes us uh, more accurate, but it also allows us not just to inject steroid, we can also do a hydrodissection of the nerve um, from the surrounding tissues. And anecdotally, that does appear to give improved outcomes. So like with all of these videos, the first thing you need to be able to do uh, is you need to have some ultrasound skills and you need to um, identify the relevant ultrasound anatomy. So I generally will carry out the ultrasound scan in this position because the patient is nice and relaxed. It also allows us to come from the ulnar side. Um, and one of the most important things we do before uh, carrying out a median nerve injection is actually to find out where the ulnar artery and ulnar and radial artery is. Normally, the median nerve to the ulnar artery is a longer distance than the other side, which allows this to be a nice access point, but it does vary and you must check it out um, on everybody. So let's just go through the anatomy first of all. So obviously if we're doing an injection, we would be using sterile gel, but if we just do the preliminary scan, um, then what you can see here, if we can see the right side, it's the ulnar side is on the right hand side um, of the image. The first thing you've got to do is to be confident with where you are from an anatomical point of view. And more importantly, you need to make sure you identify the median nerve from the surrounding tendons. And they can look quite similar, particularly in transverse section. Now, if we go further up the arm, you'll see the pronator quadratus muscle, and you'll see in the middle of the forearm something that has that sort of honeycomb appearance, which is the median nerve. And as we go further up the arm, it's in this fascial plane. Now, as we go up, this will make its way more superficially, and that's how we can identify that it's the median nerve. So you can see here, it sort of pushes the other tendons out the way and goes up more superficially um, just underneath the retinaculum, which you can see at the top there. And so this is the median nerve, okay? Now, the next thing we need to do is to put that into the middle, and then we need to identif identify the radial artery, which you can hit, see here. And obviously you can put your uh, power Doppler on and you'll see that pulsing away. But obviously because we're going from the ulnar side, we wanna find the ulnar artery, uh, which we can see pulsing there. So that means that the distance, we've got this safe area between the median nerve and the ulnar artery. Now I'm gonna show you a technique uh, which is called a standoff technique, which I find really useful, particularly if I'm gonna be doing a hydro uh, dissection. So if we put lots of sterile gel into this area, then what we can now do is we can actually get a view where we've got the median nerve, which is gonna be this structure here, uh, but also you can see the artery. And again, if you're not sure, then you can just pop your Doppler back on and there you can see the vessel and you can see the arteries. So we know exactly where they are now. Now if we go back and we get that sterile gel, remember, and we build it up, then what we can do is we can actually, because obviously what we need to make sure we do is to avoid hitting the median nerve. Now this is the median nerve here and this is the artery in the the bundle down here. So we need to make sure that we're coming into this region and particularly aiming into this area to get underneath the um, median nerve. Now by using the standoff, it means we keep the artery in view throughout the whole procedure, but it also means that as we come down, we can actually see the needle tip, if you like, before, which means we can actually identify what angle we're going at at before we go through the skin. Now that's really important because if we don't identify it, then as we go through the skin, the skin will move and you may actually end up um, either going towards the artery with the needle or towards the median nerve. So that can be a really useful technique um, for particularly if you're gonna do a hydrodissection which needs a little bit more accuracy uh, in the injection.